I get that I'm the young guy in the conversation, but I would say experience is what qualifies me to have a seat at this table. I'm, I'm the only one who's been on Fox so far uh, because there are so many viewers who may never hear what our party has to say at all. My father immigrated to this country because he knew it was the best place in the world to get an advanced education. He became an American citizen and met my mother, a young professor, who is the daughter of an army colonel and a piano teacher. From elementary school on, he was a private person about personal matters. You have to admit that with a very unusual last name, nobody could pronounce it. It was prime for jokes. And so he had to put up with that from the beginning. Every new school, and I'm including colleges, when Peter would get there, there would be a climate of, we're gonna take him down a peg. <laughs> That's why I'm running for Indiana State Treasurer. But it's not about me, it's about you. When I took office, we were being dismissed as a dying community. The important thing that I think people need to know about South Bend's story is that we didn't change our trajectory because I went around saying things like, I alone can fix it, or we're going to make our city great again. I also wanted to take this opportunity just to thank South Bend and everybody there for being so supportive. I hope it gets people thinking and uh, I hope everybody realizes that the sun came up today. I'm the exact same person I was yesterday. Well, this is a chance for the DNC to show that it's ready for a fresh start, that it's ready for change.
being married to Chaston has made me a better human being because it has made me more compassionate, more understanding, more self-aware, and more decent. My marriage to Chaston has made me a better man. And yes, Mr. Vice President, it has moved me closer to God. way to pronounce your last name. <laughs> <laughs> Buttigieg, but uh, around South Bend they just call me Mayor Pete. I am a proud son of South Bend, Indiana, and I am running for President of the United States. <laughs> That's the kind of experience that I think is really what we need. Not to mention the fact that I bring more military experience to the office than uh, any president we've had go in there in almost 30 years. So uh, I will grant that my experience, especially in the sense that I've not been married in Washington for a very long time, is different than a lot of people who run for president. But uh, I would argue it's no less relevant. I'm looking for a leader. I'm looking for a president who will draw out what is best in each of us. And I'm encouraging everybody who is part of my campaign to join me because we have found that leader in Vice President, soon to be President, Joe Biden. could look into why a, an evangelical Christian like uh, Mike Pence wants to be on a ticket with a president caught with a porn star. Uh, you know, I don't know why you would want to be in a room with other people if you were contagious with a deadly disease and you care about other sure. people. But maybe the president doesn't care about other people.